Hey guys, it's me, Kathy Dryden. You're kicking back in my kitchen. Today's Tip Tuesday. Super excited. So, have you ever heard of something like batch, batch cooking? I was trying to think what I was going to say. Batch cooking. So, over in my Kicking Back with Kathy group, it is called Dump and Dash Week, which are meals that you can just dump and go into one pot or quick cooker or in the microwave and get them done. Lickety split. So, um, I'm doing batch cooking to make it even easier to um, do it fast, right? If I could just get the words out, that would be awesome. So, what I like to do with batch cooking, and the reason I told you about Kicking Back with Kathy Grew, is because um, all week I'll be featuring different dump and dash meals. So, my group has voted, and if you're not in that group, click visit group. They voted, they wanted some slow cooker ones, they wanted some pressure cooker dump and go meals, they wanted um, stove top dump and go meals, and I'm also going to sneak in some microwave ones too, because, you know, microwave queen here. So, this is what we've got batch cooking ground turkey so if you cook your meats ground meats all at one time then you can portion them out and use them for several meals but you take care of the the cooking of the meat all at one time guess what we're going to use some of these tools so we're going to play a game you're going to shout out if you have a tool that i'm showing and you're just going to say got if it's you know the Mix and chop, if I'm using that, shout it out. Got the mix and chop, okay? We're just gonna have some fun tonight, it's Tuesday, right? So here we go. So in my microwave, I have three pounds of ground turkey in my Dutch oven rock crock. You guys, this bad boy's on sale this month for any host. So if you wanna host a party, you just let me know because normally this size is 149. It's 55 for people in May who host parties, $200 or more. So with our game we're playing, if you have a rock crock Dutch oven, shout out, got the rock crock because this bad boy, I use it all different places. Tonight, it's a microwave. So I have three pounds of ground turkey and I use my boil over no more, kind of as a splatter screen. It does have a glass lid, but I just love that because it all goes in the dishwasher. So I did three pounds of ground turkey. Why did I pick ground turkey instead of ground beef? It was cheaper at the store and that's kind of how I'm shopping these days. Whatever is the cheapest, if it's chicken thighs or chicken breast, I'm getting the cheapest. So I put three pounds, it's kind of hot. These are our mini oven mix. I release them for the air fryer more than anything, but if you got them, shout it out. So three pounds of ground turkey and I always add when I'm cooking the meat I go ahead and put in my chopped onions because I don't know about you guys but we eat garlic and chopped onions and pretty much everything that we cook for a dump and go meal or for lunch or for breakfast we have onions that way too so what I did is I took one whole onion and I chopped it with the food chopper so I took Basically what you do, I'm only showing this if you haven't heard of the food chopper, and don't forget, shout it out if you got it. Food chopper, love it, um, is it just chops. And if you have a really long day at work, you could just sit here and do this for therapy. Some people are very dainty, no, 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 no. If you want to put half an onion in here, I kind of chop it in chunks, and this is what you do. Number one, it gets frustrations out. Number two, it counts as a workout sometimes. So. What I did is I put half the onion in here and I put the other half, this is where the batch comes in as well for prepping, in one of our silicone baggies. Now, normally I don't put prepped onion in my fridge because what happens? Your ice cubes in the freezer will taste like onion. You guys, this is magical. We have the new sets. I know you guys have seen them a million times. I might do them on tool time this week, but this never oozes out the, the the smell or scent of an onion. I had this in my bag last week. I went to practice before I told you guys this tip, but this has onions in it. The rest of my chopped onion, it smells, you know, like onion until you close the lock. What? It doesn't seep through like it does a traditional bag. So this is the smaller size. I guess it's like you would count it like a snack bag. But I use my onions that I just do half here and then half, and then I put it in the fridge. 
it's magical, you guys, because then I don't have to chop onions tomorrow night. I'm done. But I do add it to the meat, and I also add salt and pepper. That is all I do. Microwaved it for about five minutes. I'm trying to remember because I had to do it twice. For five minutes, and then I pulled it out, and I broke it up with my mix and chop. Now, I want you to break it up because if it's still together, it's not gonna cook the meat all the way through. So you wanna break five minutes, pull it out, and then do three or four minutes. You can kinda of eyeball if you still see the pink. But this is done. So here's the plan. I have three pounds of ground meat, ground turkey. So you can use this any way that you want to. So what I like to do is, I like, and just look how pretty it is, it's so cute. Um, I use the scoop and drain, which is actually shown in the catalog with pasta, but I use it for ground meat because it's perfect for draining. So this is, um, I can't use that one. All right, I will probably use, I only have one of each of these, but this is the bigger silicone thing. And these guys, you go into the dishwasher or you turn them inside out and put them in it. Love it. So what I like to do is in freezer bags, if I don't have enough of these, I do one pound in each bag. That's kind of what you would use for a family of four for one meal. <clears throat> Ooh, got a furball. And then you just scoop it, stick it here. So usually what happens, it's two of these scoops is about a pound. But my onion's already done, you guys. It's cooked, it smells amazing, and I'm ready. So, if you're curious about dump and dash meals or dump and go or dump and throw, there's so many different terms. They're just drop-in dinners um, that you can put into one pot, one quick cooker, one um, rock crock, whatever, and then walk away and go do other things. I love these kind of meals. So, this is ready for one meal. You can do tacos, you can do chili, you can do spaghetti. Doesn't matter, be creative, but go ahead and get your meat done on one night. And if you have a rock crop, do it in the microwave because then you don't have the splattering and doing all the things. Or another option is in your quick cooker or multi cooker. You can put the same three pounds and I've actually done that before with it half frozen and put it on the stand that comes inside, put it on top of the stand, put one cup of water at the bottom, put the stand in and the quick cooker, and then put your frozen meat on top and it cooks you guys and it drains and it actually stays a little solid when you do it that way. Um, but it's so easy, but this is faster cause it's in the microwave. Okay. All right. That's tip time Tuesday. So if you had any of the tools I used, the food chopper, the mix and chop, the scoop and drain, the rock crock, or some of you have already gotten these silicone bags and you're so excited, shout out, oh, hang on, and our silicone mitts, shout out in the comments, um, I got it, and then say what it is you have. I can't wait to see, I love this game. Uh, I do this in some of my parties. And don't forget, speaking of parties, you can earn this bad boy for 55 bucks instead of the full price of 149, because it's our 60% off item for May. And um, a lot of people are booking for these two pieces, this one and the everyday, um, to get it 60% off, because they're the bomb diggity. All right, what does Leah say? Love the scoop and drain and the silicone mitts. Yes. So it really is supposed to be for pasta, but you can do it for whatever you want. Anything you want to scoop and drain that's hot, you can use it. Love it. All right, you guys, have a great night. Toodaloo. Don't forget to hit visit group because over there is where I'm sharing tips and tricks for dump and dash or dump and go meals through the next couple weeks. This week, my group voted for slow cooker ones. So that's what we're gonna start off for this week. And the next week we'll do pressure cooker ones. All right, you guys, doodaloo, bye.